Raising awareness of scleroderma is important to me because I'm affected by it. One of my earliest symptoms was rashes, swollen fingers, my legs and joints gave way, well my knee gave way, my joints were painful. I wondered what was happening and began to wonder if I was going mad. I had to go through a carpal tunnel operation, which did help a little, but that was when they discovered there was something more going on. My first symptoms of scleroderma were the digital ulcers on my fingers. I was very lucky in that I was referred to a rheumatologist who knew loads about scleroderma and got me seen by the Royal Free and the Royal Bumpton really quickly. First symptoms I developed were cold hands. Um, my fingers would turn blue with the slight change in temperature, so Raynard syndrome. I quickly developed very sore joints, mainly my hands first. My fingers were very swollen, my wrists were so sore. Um, and after that, many more symptoms developed, but it took about a year and a half for me to get diagnosed with scleroderma. Hi, Sarah Cox here. I have a diagnosis of scleroderma, Raynaud's and lupus. I've had the disease for 14 years and I am now 32 years old. So I was about 16 and noticed my hands were turning purple and very painful. I popped off to the GP who did a blood test and I had a referral to the rheumatologist. I was very lucky. It happened very quickly and uh, we noticed, we realised I had the disease very early on. I didn't have to wait long for a diagnosis. Hello, my name's Mario, I'm 66, and I was diagnosed with diffuse systemic scleroderma about a year and a half ago now. I'm more concerned about the emotional side of this disease. It has affected me dramatically. I suffer severe mood swings from rage and anger, despair. Um, Feeling totally useless some days, I'm just lucky to have the support of a really close family unit and friends. Great support from the hospital I go to, which helps a lot. So, um, look this disease up online, it's, um, it's interesting, I'll, I'll say that for it.